Welcome to our Wandered Veer review. You might be thinking to yourself, Aaron, that backpack looks like crap. And truth be told, it kind of does. But all packable slash compressible day packs kind of look like crap. But that's because they're awesome, because they can go from this to this. Pretty cool, huh? So what you're sacrificing in aesthetics, you're gaining in functionality. But while there are a lot of packable day packs out there, this is the first that comes with an inflatable back panel. So you're probably thinking, does this work? Is it gimmicky? Is it functional? Does the inflatable back panel actually provide anything of value? By the end of this review, you will know all the answers to your questions. So let's start with the overall gist of the Wandered Veer. Really, you got two components, the packable day pack and the inflatable back panel. Why is it inflatable, you ask? Because you take this off, you can go ahead and deflate, pack it up, slide it into here, and kaboom, packable day pack with an inflatable back panel, pretty cool. We'll talk a bit more about the inflatable back panel a little bit further into the review. In the meantime, let's talk about the actual compressible day pack. When compressed, pretty small, compact size. It's got a little hook so you can actually hook it onto the outside of your backpack or hook it onto the outside of anywhere. And going from packed day pack to unpacked day pack, pretty easy, you just sort of do one of these. Oh my God, that's super fast. And then what was that in 4.5 seconds? Nope. Close this guy and then voila, you got your backpack. There's some really cool, unique features about this compressible day pack. Namely, all of the exterior zippers are YKK PU coated zips, which means they're highly weather resistant. Very cool to have on a compressible day pack. The external materials are also highly weather resistant. We've got some really well-designed shoulder straps. They're very ventilated. You can see just how ventilated they are. Also a decent amount of comfort to them and that extends to the back panel as well. Nice little touch by Wandered there. Water bottle pocket on one side, quick access to the main compartment on the other side. It comes in three different color options. You got the blue, the black, or rust. It's 18 liters, which is a good size for a day pack. And it comes in at around 60 US dollars. And one last point about the Wandered Veer is that it's compatible with Wandered's inflatable camera cube. Yeah, Tav, Tav hates the inflatable camera cube. <laughs> Like, we review a product that are kind of like, eh, this one's like, this is bad. Yeah, we, should so. say, we should tell people not to buy it. Yeah, so as you can tell, we're not huge fans of the inflatable camera cube, but the Veer itself, while not perfect, is a really great option. Let's talk about why. Okay, first up, let's chat about the front of the Wandered Veer. You know, let's load this fucker up. It looks a little deflated. Ah, much better. First up, materials. We've got two primary materials, one on the bottom and then one here, and they're both weather resistant nylon. And then here we have daisy chain, main zip, daisy chains. That's a lot of daisy chains on this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on each side for a total of, let's see, X times and then carry the two, 22 daisy chains. Daisy chains are great if you like to hang things on the outside of your pack. Maybe you got like, uh, I got this case for my Bluetooth headphones, right? My AirPods, go ahead, clip this on the outside. Boom, secure. And then finally on the front, we have access to the front compartment right here. Like I said, YKK PU coated zip, pretty smooth zipper experience. Oh yeah, that's nice, that's really nice. I like that, it's good. And when you're inside the main compartment, super basic. There's no additional organization in this pocket. It extends about yay size. And then right here on the bottom, we have a little barrier. This material is a nice touch by Wandered. It just helps stop your shit from falling out of the bag. Let's talk about the middle of the Wandered Veer. Nothing on the bottom to discuss. Side number one, water bottle pocket side. This is a 16 ounce basic as fuck water bottle, but you can see right here, it fits with a lot of room to spare. I'm saying you got one of those one liter now jeans, one of those thick girthy motherfuckers, like it'll fit in here no problem. And whatever you put in there can be strapped into place with this guy. Side number two, we'll call this the access to the main compartment side. And this pocket is one of the most important features of the Wandered Veer. Why? Because access to the main compartment via the top really sucks. But Wander knew that, they accepted that, and they gave you this as another way to get inside the main compartment. One note about the zipper here is it's clippable, AKA lockable, AKA, hmm, that's funnable. As you can see, this side pocket gives you really good access to the main compartment. And this pocket is also great because of the accessibility. You wanna grab something from your bag, you just swing it on over, unzip, and then you have the full main compartment at your disposal. The access to the main compartment on the top is much more limited. As you can see right here, we just got this like basic little slit. It's hard to get in there. 
And the last part for the middle section is you got this top pocket right here. This top pocket is how the bag folds into itself. You can see this is the outside of the bag when it's fully compressed and packed into itself. But it also doubles as a quick access pocket. And you got this key clip right here that you can use to like clip the bag to the outside of another bag when it's packed and compressed. But it also works for a key ring solution. It's a great spot to keep your keys nice, safe, secure, and accounted for. And it should be mentioned that in the main compartment, there's no additional organization. There's no other compartments. But what you do have is this guy right here, this mesh divider. What it is, is an inflatable back panel savvy day pack. Allow me to show, got your back panel, and you're like, have life back panel. <laughs> Nailed it. Now we're fully inflated, tap, feel that inflation. And then once the back panel is fully inflated, just go ahead, pop it into place. And now we have a back panel. You might be asking yourself, but Aaron, is it comfortable? Does it work? Give me the juice. I'll talk about that a little bit more in depth in the next section. Next up, the back of the Wandered Veer. First up, we got a little handle slash hanging loop. Decent grabability. It's not very comfortable, but you don't really need it to be. It gets the job done. Shoulder straps are quite interesting. As I mentioned, we got a lot of ventilation going on. Tad, can you see me? We also have a sternum strap. Not all compressible day packs have a sternum strap. I'm a big fan when they do. This one is completely adjustable. Also, the sternum strap has a dangle stopper, which is great because nobody wants this thing flapping all over the place. There's no like cuts in this thing. It's not like a 3D EVA molded back panel, but there's still some breathability. But now let's talk about the comfort. Like, is it comfortable to wear, especially with the inflatable back panel actually being attached? Let's find out by putting some random bulky ass shit in this bag. Speaker? What is this? It's a mini radio. Mini radio. Components for a vacuum. Just totally normal things you would bring traveling. Air conditioning remote. Case for a tablet. There's no tablet in here, just the case. Cause you never know when you're gonna come across a tablet and you gotta put That's a case Justin. on it. It's called Justin. Huh? Just in case. Justin. More vacuum components. All right, so it's nice and awkward and bulky in there. A little heavy, swinging it around. Oh, those vacuum parts, they really, I like what's happening. Now listen, I'm not gonna say this is the most comfortable backpack in the world. If you stack this up to like the Air Travel Pack 2, like it can't compare. This is a compressible day pack. And to be honest, one of the more comfy ones that I have come across. Overall, I'm not gonna say it's a perfect system, but it's innovative and it gets the job done. Okay, pros and cons of the Wandered Veer. Let's do it. Pro number one, I really like the innovation of the inflatable back panel. Pro number two, it's quite comfortable. And pro number three is the weatherproof materials. Think about it, you're traveling through Copenhagen. You're exploring the city, it starts raining. You got all your stuff in your day pack. This will at least bear the brunt of the weather and keep the majority of your gear dry. But let's talk about some of the cons. Con number one, we're usually a fan of colors, but for some reason the blue color doesn't work very well. It's because it's so wrinkly, I think. This is one of the few times I would actually recommend getting the black version of a backpack as opposed to a colored version of the same backpack. Con number two is the limited accessibility from the top. Yes, you have the side to sort of neutralize it, but I just wish that there was a little bit more, you know, like so I can get in there a little bit easier. And con number three, I think it's kind of daisy chain overkill, like 22. Could have cut those down a bit, I think. Don't need that many days, James. So if you've taken all the pros and all the cons into consideration and you're just thinking to yourself, that's the bag for me. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in description. Just, just that link right there. That link makes sure two things. One, that you get the best price. And two, it helps to support our Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thank you very much. But let's say you're not quite sold on this day pack. It's just not the day pack for you. You're just not sure. You just want an alternative recommendation. Here are three for you. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the Tortuga set out day pack. This is for you if you're looking for something that's super simple. It's lighter, no back panel. It's just a very simple compressible day pack. To learn more about the Tortuga set out day pack, check the description below and you will find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Nomatic Navigator Collapsible Backpack. This is a collapsible backpack that has a different look, a little more business, professional, savvy kind of. And in our opinion, it's a little bit more comfortable. To learn more about the Nomatic Navigator Collapsible Backpack, description down there, you'll find a link to our full review. And alternative recommendation number three is actually going to be another Nomatic Collapsible Backpack, which is, what does it have? Peter McKinnon? Uh, McKinnon Nomadic. Peter McKinnon Nomadic Camera Cube Backpack thing. Which is exactly as it sounds. If you're looking for a collapsible day pack that's ideal for your camera gear, 
this is the best option that we've tested. We reviewed this Camera Cube backpack with the Peter McKinnon Nomadic backpack, and you can find a link to both those reviews, same video, right down there. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching our Wandered Veer review. If you found this review useful, the best way to just show us a little bit of love, let us know, hey, I liked that. Just tap that like button. That lets us know, hey, they liked that. And it helps YouTube know, hey, they like that. <laughs> and then magical things happen because of that. Also, do you own the Wandered Veer? If so, we'd love to hear what your experience has been like so far. Is the inflatable back panel durable? Do you think it's inflaty enough? Do you want a little extra flation? Or do you have a better compressible day pack that we haven't reviewed? I would love to know your thoughts. Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much. My name is Aaron. This is Nomad's Nation, and we'll see you next time. Pachoo.